We've gone through three of the habits. I'm going to do one more and then ask you some overarching questions. But I thought this one was an extremely important one because today we are seeing simple and consistent negative messaging play out. And I think President Trump was the kingpin at this. If you remember his campaign and how he gave people different names. However, this approach causes a lot of fear, hatred, and people to overdose on anxiety. Instead, you believe we should be using a pull of positivity. I want to ask, how can we harness the pull of positivity to counteract the negative emotions that are causing us, as Scott Galloway says, to be adrift? Be adrift, yeah. So when I think of the pull of positivity, by the way, what you're talking about is negative persuasion, which really does work. Trump was very effective at that. He was actually a really good marketer because the nicknames were really sticky. You do not want to be nicknamed by Trump because those names really st stick. That's harnessing really good persuasion and marketing in a negative way. But practicing positivity for me is really about, and a lot of people talk about this, this isn't like super unique, but cultivating a sense of gratitude for the good things in your life and trying to think about every interaction and how you're going to make that interaction. It doesn't always work. I have to go back and read this book also and remind myself of these values and this philosophy. But trying to make every interaction as positive it can be. And that really does pull people into your orbit and it helps you be successful. And I think the mindset of gratitude is really important and it helps your anxiety. It helps your stress. It helps you be present. It helps you be here, not thinking about your future self and what the possibilities are or your past mistakes, but what are you grateful for right here, right now at the present moment? And that just has a way of uh, affecting people and spilling out into the world. And I think when I think about that idea of, of the pull of positivity, it also makes me think of the idea that everyone on this planet, we're going through life with different circumstances, but we're all really similar. We're all made up of almost the same. There's a little bit that makes us different. When you have that lens, it changes the way you think about your philosophy. It's not an us versus them. It's trying to have that, that grateful mindset and that positive mindset.